And here are stories making headlines beyond the continent. We begin in the United States, where Donald Trump, his two sons, and the uh, Trump Organization are facing a civil fraud trial in New York. They have been accused of inflating the value of their properties by over $2 billion to secure favorable loans. A judge that ruled Trump is liable for business fraud, a key part of a wider lawsuit by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Now, Trump has denied any wrongdoing, calling the case a sham. A victory would mean Trump and his company would pay a $250 million fine and be banned from doing business in New York, removing Trump Tower and his holdings from his grabs. Now, joining me to, of course, uh, shed more light on this is Otumba Olabode Osini, a political and public affairs commentator based in the United Kingdom, and also uh, EGK Okwa, global affairs analyst. Thank you so much for your time. Now, EGK is based in Dallas, Texas, United States. Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Thank you, uh, thank you very much for having me, Dakos. All right, great. I'd like to start off with you, uh, AGK. Now, former President Donald Trump attended a New York court where he faces a civil lawsuit and a fine of uh, about $250 million now for alleged fraud committed through the Trump Organization. What is your take on the alleged fraud trials? Well, again, uh, this is one of those, you know, sham things. Again, you know, I'm, I'm just going to borrow the words from the former president, Sham, uh, that the Democrats, you know, with their, you know, slew of, you know, uh, DAs are trying to, uh, you know, you know, get the former president uh, uh, into ridicule and, and, you know, and uh, as a way to uh, portray him to the American people and uh, the, those who are supporting him for nomination to make him look like, you know, uh, he's not going to qualify or he's not suitable for the office. You know, professionally, you know, when, when I came to U.S., I was a regional appraisal manager for the FDIC. So I, I was in charge of liquidation of failed bank assets as far back as 1988. So what happened is if they say there was a fraud, the question that I would have asked is who alleged the fraud? Was it the lenders? Have the lenders filed any complaint? In which case, it wouldn't be a civil matter. It would be a criminal matter. If, if that's, you know, the FBI are the ones that have the responsibility in America to pursue financial fraud, especially if it's related to real estate. And in this case, it's a civil matter. So how, who made the allegation? You know, has the lenders lost any money? Because if they have, then it would again be a federal case. But in this matter, it's a state case and it's a simple matter. So even if he's convicted, he's not going to go to jail. You know, they're asking him to pay a fine. So this is one of those things that, again, you shake your head and you said, in America, why is this thing going on? It's a witch hunt thing and, and they're going after Trump. You know, they're not going to ban him. You can't ban an American from doing business in a state. I mean, this case is going to go all the way to the Supreme Court and, and they're going to lose. So uh, let me just, you know, let, let me just end it there. Because again, I have had the responsibility when I was at the FDIC, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. You know, anytime we, there was a fraud alleged in a loan document, I was the one, because I was the appraiser. I would be the one that provided the federal lawyers, you know, the review comment in which to use to go to court and, and make a case that this was actually a fraudulent loan. But in this case, no financial institution has been mentioned to say they have lost money. And in that case, that's why they're coming after him. Now, I want to go to your Tumba Hosseini. I mean, the former president spoke outside the courtroom where he denied the allegations and called the lawsuit a politically motivated witch hunt. Now, can we say it is all politics as according to the former U.S. president? What's your take? Thank you very much for having me. Well, I wouldn't say that. As much as I'm aware that I'm conscious of that uh, you do not mix um, emotion or um, unnecessary sentiment with law, but they are two different entities. No, for me, I wish the uh, he, he gets away with uh, uh, with fine of two hundred fifty million dollars. 
uh, but it's not going to be like that because there's some other thing, there's some other consequences that we we will have to deal with. Yes, it is true from my, uh, my friend in the studio that um, uh, this is a civil case and this might go all and on. And at the same time, there's no way in the, in the American constitution that uh, if you do so much damage or too much crime, whatever, uh, you can still go ahead and stand for election. But I can say this as a focus. Uh, if, if America allows this to happen, uh, put into consideration the involvement of uh, former President uh, Donald Trump in uh, January 6, uh, calling for insurrection and all that kind of thing. I, I'm, I'm also conscious that that is still going up. It's not been concluded yet. But the truth of the matter is, um, he cannot be, uh, it cannot be allowed. And again, it might be a little bit messy to say moral law and so on. But with all the loads of evidence, all the loads of the uh, 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 activities that are linked with fraud, you cannot allow that kind of a person to govern in a civilized country. Again, we just need to be very careful here. Again, I repeat, I'm conscious the fact that moral, emotion, all that kind of thing may not be uh, put together. But I still believe the way it's going, uh, Donald Trump stands to have more to lose than to gain in the coming years. Mm. Now, I want to go back to you, uh, AGK. Now, Judge Arthur and Gorin have found Trump liable of uh, one a fraud claim last week. And the same judge uh, will now weigh up six more claims. Now, do you see this as a, a fair trial? And uh, what are the likely expectations? I also want to just, you know, add a bit to this. Now, people see uh, America has the, uh, well, I call it the beacon of democracy. And, uh, I mean, some are saying that, uh, I mean, the, 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 why, ha why is all of this happening now to Trump when the elections is just around the corner? What's your reaction to that? You know, your guess is as good as mine. You know, I, again, I came I came to this country after college education in Nigeria. I did my youth service. I wasn't I wasn't the teenager who came and you know left. I ran for mayor of Dallas. You know, I ran for Congress. I am politically active in this country. You know, let me even go back to what the you know, the other just said. He doesn't live in U.S. He has no clue how U.S. is set up. You know, we don't look at moral issues. What we look at, what does the Constitution say? He, you know, he he made reference to ins insurrection. You know, no, he has not been convicted about that. You know, we, our judicial system says innocent until proven guilty. You can indict anybody all day long until you go to court. Um, then the, the judge will make a ruling or a judgment. In that case, you know, the convicted may, has a right to appeal. And that appeal goes to a federal court. And then if you don't like that, it goes to the Supreme Court. If you look at the American judicial process, it's not a swift justice something. Even if they go down and convict him, he has the right to appeal. So you're looking at about some, some, you know, sometimes five to six years before this thing might even be resolved. Now, you know, is he going to be, is that some damage being done? He's a human being done to him. But if you look at the polls, he is still pulling ahead of all the Republican candidates that are seeking nomination. They, they, people thought that by this time he would have been finished. Let me tell you, I'm a Trump supporter. I supported him the first time. I'm supporting him again. This is the only American who can stand up to what Democrats are trying to do to him. You know, the way I have described him one time, and he said, man, I like that. Trump behaves like a freshly poured concrete. He gets fresh, he gets stronger every second. Any other Republican would have cowered and acquiesced and gotten out of it. So America needs this kind of people that are resilient because we see behind it, behind it, the media sensation about all this stuff that's been going on. Look, you know, Clinton stole something from the White House when he left. Nobody invited. Biden, I mean, you saw that president former ones, even had documents in their house. Nobody did anything. So we can see for anybody who is sensible and who understands that America cannot crumble by some of these attitudes or acts being, you know, encouraged by the media and some other operators. We can't, we can't, we can't have this. We're not a beacon of uh, democracy to anybody. Anybody thinking that doesn't live here. You know, we have managed to have a country that has survived as long as it survived, but America, our politics is very fierce. If you, mm. if you read the history of this country, when they started it, 
you would be amazed what they have done to each other in order to elect president. Okay. So until you are in this system, mm. you wouldn't understand it. So as far as I'm concerned, Trump is the guy, and none of these things is going to damage him to where he would not win the match. I mean, I was just about to ask you, EJK, that, uh, I mean, it's, it's a question I wanted to pose to both of you, uh, starting with you, EJK, that do you think this will affect his chances at the poll quickly? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because, you know, I live in Texas, so we're a red state, and then, you know, some other states, people, people are just watching it and shaking their heads. Because we've never seen something like this happen to where, because of election, I mean, the Democrats are afraid. If, if they thought they had him, why, why are they doing all this stuff? It's like we say in America, they're throwing everything on the wall to see what's going to stick, and so far nothing has stopped. Hmm. If I've had an indictment, you haven't had any convictions. Okay, I'm not a lawyer, but you know what I have done? I have served as an expert witness in federal court. So I know how the process works. And I've been a candidate for Congress as well as for local. I understand this thing and I can speak to facts and I can speak, uh, speak to sentiments. But when it comes to what the rights of an individual is about the constitution, not moral. We don't look at moral when we do. There's nothing in American constitution that says a criminal cannot run for office. That's mm. nothing in the Constitution. All right. I, I, I want to quickly go to Otumba right now, Otumba Oseni. Uh, how do you react to some of the things, uh, of course, uh, Educa said? And then just quickly, do you think all of this allegation will stick and affect his chances? That's Trump at the polls. Well, again, I, I sympathize with Mr. GK and I also want to speak clearly on this show that, uh, I mean, a British citizen vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Nigerian passport holder. And uh, I do not want to uh, go into a competition in discussing uh, which party. I don't have sympathy for any, any of the political parties in America. And at the same time, I'm also as a law student, uh, I, I'm, I'm conscious, like I said, that uh, most of the areas of law in America, none of them uh, go vigorously against crime, criminal or people that commit or perpetrate uh, uh, criminalities. But it, but it is on record that uh, most of what Donald Trump has been doing ever since, yeah, it, it has always been linked with uh, a crime. And uh, for me, maybe it's going to get to a, get a point where uh, some of his proceeds, some of what he has done wrong, he will need to uh, come to account for that. Again, I want to appreciate Mr. GK that uh, he's a supporter of uh, uh, Trump and also a supporter of Republican and so on. That also, that uh, there's nowhere in the law that uh, he cannot stand. And also that the probability uh, that is uh, the leading uh, candidate now that he may, he may eventually win okay. the nomination for Republican. But I'm not too sure because Again, it's going to be very difficult to imagine that someone, someone who had perpetrated calling for insurrection okay. uh, would be allowed to be the same person mm. uh, that wants to uh, rule the same country. I don't All understand. Right. I don't get that. Again, right. I'm not trying to involve and invoke morality here. None at all. All right. Thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Thank you very much. You know, look, you look, 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 I, I, I appreciate your comment. You know, again, the way you people elect your prime minister is not the way we elect our president. Well, well, so I, look, I, I know we have a lot to it. say, but we're <laughs> pressed with time. We need to go. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Thank you. Thank you.